What happened to Morgan Nick? It's a question many people have asked in the nearly three decades since the little girl from Ozark, Arkansas disappeared. Well, last November, police finally revealed a new lead in this cold case, releasing the first and only person of interest. But that man, Billy Jack Lynx, died before ever telling what he knew. But that doesn't mean the case is closed. THP 11's Mercedes McKay dug deeper into Lynx's past and his connection to this investigation. This is the area where Morgan Nick was last seen nearly 27 years ago on June 9, 1995. It's a mystery that's not only shaped her family, but the whole town of Alma, and they aren't giving up any hope. Even though more time has continued to go by, our belief is that if we fight hard enough, we will find the truth and we will bring her home. It was a hot summer day in Alma, Arkansas. Colleen Nick's family was invited to a Little League baseball game and decided to make the short trip down from their home in Ozark. We'd never been to the baseball field. It was our first time there. It's one block away from the police department. Towards the end of the game, Colleen said her daughter Morgan wanted to go catch fireflies with the other kids in the parking lot near the field. She never imagined that could be the last conversation she'd have with her little girl. She sat down to take sand out of her shoes and the other children, the older children, walked off and left her. And that was the last time that anybody saw her. In a city of about 3,000 people, word traveled fast about Morgan's disappearance. Alma Police Chief Jeff Pointer wasn't with the department at the time, but says he remembers hearing about it instantly. You know, as days went on, you know, it's almost like that fear that this is not what's supposed to happen in a small town. Now, almost 27 years later, that thought still haunts Chief Pointer, but in a different way, now that he leads the department. You look at it as, as we failed our job. You know, we didn't and haven't brought Morgan home, so uh, I mean, we failed at what we were supposed to do. Since then, the Alma Police Department has never stopped working Morgan's case. Chief Pointer says new leads have come in daily since she was taken. I can't say that we're focused on one lead. Um, you know, there's several good leads that that we've gotten that we're still working. While police continued their search for answers, last November the FBI announced a major development in the case. Investigators named Billy Jack Lynx as a person of interest, asking the public for any information about him. Lynx was no stranger to law enforcement, though. According to court documents from August 1995, he attempted to abduct an 11-year-old girl at a Sonic in Van Buren, Arkansas. It happened just two months after Morgan's abduction and only eight miles away from the Walford baseball field where she was last seen. Lynx was charged and later convicted for sexual solicitation of a child in the Van Buren case. But one key detail stuck out from the investigation. The vehicle he drove, a red 1986 Chevrolet pickup. For years now, the Alma Police Department has consistently connected a similar red truck, but one with a white camper shell, to Morgan's disappearance. We have it on video the night of the ball game that Morgan was taken, and that truck can be seen in it, and the owner or whoever was in the vehicle has never been identified. Court documents show that during witness interviews from Link's conviction, a neighbor told police they, quote, think Lynx had a camper shell on his red pickup and believes it was two months ago when he saw the camper. While Chief Pointer says they've never been able to find and question who owned that truck. It may not be who took Morgan, but we've never been able to identify that, who the owner of that truck was. As for Billy Jack Lynx, prior to his 1995 conviction, records show he was charged with sexual abuse in 1992. He was sentenced to six years in prison, but he wouldn't serve that full time dying behind bars in 2000 before the FBI could ever name him as a person of interest in Morgan Nick's case. While the mystery still remains of who took her while she was innocently catching fireflies, Chief Pointer says his department won't stop searching for answers. Until we can bring her home, then um, we haven't done her, our, our job, and it's all about Morgan. I mean, we have to fight for her. We are looking for you so hard so you can come home. For the Nick family, they continue to hold on to hope for her return, or at least closure in knowing what happened to her. Our belief is that somewhere somebody knows the truth about Morgan and that someday we will know that truth, that we will find that. Morgan's mother has now devoted her life to helping families like hers through the Morgan Nick Foundation. The Morgan Nick case is still an ongoing investigation, and like we have said this whole time, if you know anything about her disappearance, you're asked to contact the Alma Police Department or the FBI.